Houston Police Chief Art Acevedo has been very vocal in the wake of George Floyd's death and the ensuing marches and protests, but one comment in particular caught our attention. So tonight, Channel 2 investigator Joel Eisenbaum put it through our trust index. I want to see if I can make it happen. Hey, guys, I got to get to work. Houston's police chief, Art Acevedo, has been a visible figure lately, even spending time on the national talk show circuit. We want to make sure we get it right. Acevedo's public statements have been charged politically and racially. Pay close attention. Yes. Because these little white guys with their skateboards are the ones that started all this that inflammatory proclamation delivered to a crowd of Houston protesters was not a one-off. Last Friday marked the most violent night in Houston. The next day, Saturday, the chief said this at City Hall. We're seeing that there are people uh, that are not people of color that are coming into this city and other cities to actually start agitating and actually engage in violence. Over the last few days, our team has tried to find evidence that supports the chief's claim that a certain race of out-of-towners descended on our city causing trouble. Yeah, we looked into it, and I'm not really sure why the chief is misleading the public. I don't know if he's trying to make some sort of political statement. Joe Gamaldi is president of the Houston Police Officers Union. His findings? What our officers told us was that it was people of all races that were throwing water bottles or throwing rocks or throwing bricks. But what does the paperwork say? Who has actually been criminally charged? We examined hundreds of HPD arrests over the protest time period, and we could not verify a single criminal case in Houston that matches the chief's description. The overwhelming majority of those charged, well, they're from here. And like Houston, it's a racially diverse group. Frankly, we don't care who the race of the suspect is that's throwing a rock at our officers. We just care that that person gets arrested and that they go to jail for it. We requested an interview with the chief about this issue. Told his folks plainly, we're looking at the statement. No interview. Without further clarification and no evidence to support his claim, this one is a red on our trust index. Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you.